Welcome back, everyone. Today we have a Pokemon Master Challenge battle, and I'm doing an Are You battle, and I have a lot of a lot of cool Pokemon here. It should be a fun one. I lead off with my what you call it, uh, Moongus, funny name, and he has a Ferrisseed, and uh, Ferrisseed is gonna be a pain in my ass. The Moongus can't really do anything to it, so I switch out the Celsius, my. Entei, and Entei is a monster in NU. It's got like base 140 attack. It's ridiculous. I don't get why. Like, mm, I don't even know. I predict the Chandelure switch right there, and I go for Stone Edge, being the genius I am, and I nail it, and I get a kill with Entei early on, and I get rid of this very threatening Chandelure. So I'm sitting pretty good right. Now. So here I decide to go out to Stealthy, my Kecleon. Kecleon's really underused. I love this thing. It's got great special defense, a cool ability, and like it's a chameleon. What's not to like? Too bad it's it's been kind of hard to get a kill with it. I kind of wish I had Drain Punch so I could have killed this Clefable. So I switch out to my Gear Second One Piece reference, and I didn't think it would have the Fire Blast, but it does. So I'm kind of screwed here. And I used a Gear Grind and actually get the kill with. Klinglang, and that's good, but then he goes to Ferrisseed, and I'm kind of screwed here. Uh, but I don't really have a use for gear second, so I might just start setting up some shift gears, try to get some damage on it. Um, I'm not really going to have any use for this thing later on anyway, so I might as well just go for it. But this is a dangerous game, because it could wake up at any moment and just kill me. But I don't think Ferrisseed even carries offensive moves. Like, I've never seen a Pharisee with an offensive move, really. So, I highly doubt this will be the first time. And I should probably speed up this part a little, because this is going to be just going to be me setting up. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So, yeah, I'm still setting up here, whatever. He throws out the lead seat. I forgot he could even do that. So, I have no choice but to go for the gear grind and just get rid of it. And I do end up taking half, half of his life off with the gear grind, which is amazing, because... The Violet Pharisee is really bulky and it just goes to show you what Kling Lang can do if he gets a few moves set up. So I go out to Entei and I take a crap ton of Stealth Rock damage so maybe that was not the best idea. And I know he's going to switch out but I don't know what he's going to switch out to. So just go for the Fair Blitz anyways. I am banded so it should hurt anyone coming in quite a bit. But I didn't think Slow King could take it that well. That kind of startles me right there so I'm not sure what to do at this point so I'm probably gonna switch out to my uh, Kecleon again cuz it can take special hits very well but he hits me with a freaking thunder wave that's my move dude uh, I am the thunder wave spammer you can't do that to me so this is a very bad situation right here and I decided to Thunder Wave him back, and he actually Dragon Tails me into the perfect Pokemon for the situation, my Emolga. And I can fire off Wild Charges no problem. And I nail him with the Wild Charge, get the kill, that's Emolga off the list, haul at your boy. Destruction. Alright. <laughs> so he goes out to Pharaoh Seed, and I don't fear this thing one bit, because I got that Acrobatics with the Flying Gem. Get wrecked, son. That's a critical hit. Probably mattered. I don't care. Suck it. Not suck it. <laughs> That's mean. But, you know, crits, they just happen in Pokemon. You just gotta deal with it. You can't complain about it, because, like, the luck usually evens it itself out, because you get lucky, and the opponent gets lucky, and that's just how it works. So, I have, I'm on a 4-2 lead. So, I do have this bagged, I think. I go for the Hydro Pump, I'm, I forget what his last poke is, it might be like Fable if I didn't kill it. But this is my choice spec Samurott, and Samurott's one of my favorite Pokemon. I, I like all water starters, but something about Samurott I just really like. Oh, he has a Lilligant left, I remember now. Things are about to get very ugly very quick, and Lilligant is very dangerous, and since I am choice, then I don't want to switch out because I might get sleep powdered or something. Duh. These were bad plays on my part. I should have probably sleep just switched out anyways. I keep going for the hydro pump, which is a bad idea. I just want to get rid of the sub. 
and Hydro Pump does have only 80 accuracy, so this is a very big gamble I'm taking. Thankfully, he takes me out because that's what I needed a free switch in. So I still got my Celsius, and I don't know if he can outspeed me at this point, but I guess we're about to find out. I'm afraid that he can, so I go for the extreme speed and do nothing. And he's got hidden power ground, I presume, because it's super effective. And I don't really think that would c carry water. So just like that, we're on an even 2-2 two to two with a Lilligant set up. I'm going to get destroyed here. At least I got a couple kills, right? So I got my Kickling on and I fire off the... Nope, I don't get to fire anything off because it takes me out. So it's 1-2. to two. I'm screwed. But thankfully, I have the Amoongus. And I'm about to do work here. Now, I for some reason carry Hidden Power Ice with this Amoongus. So this person probably thought I was really vulnerable when I wasn't, and I know with HP ground, he, that thing can't even touch me. So I start firing off my HP uh, ices, slowly whittling down. It does have the special defense boost, and I almost have it. One more hit should kill it, and it's, he's too low to sub. So I go and fire off my last, uh, whatchamacallit, actually I fire off a clear smog which resets his stats so that's good because all his boosts were gone there but then he has aggron which is paralyzed right so I should be good but giga drain does not even do half it's paralyzed so aggron's a monster if it hits me I might just die because Oda's my Amoongus is already halfway damaged so this could be bad this is gonna be really close uh, I need to fire off another Giga Drain, because there's nothing else I can do, because Hidden Power Ice is going to do jack shit to him. And he hits me with the head smash. So 12% left, and he wins. That was a good game.